I never said that he was a bad grandfather. Kristen, you implied that he was a bad grandfather when you said he doesn't spend quality time with Kenzie. What up, everybody? It's your girl Nisha here back in the cut once again. Today, we are going to review Basketball Wives. This is season eight, episode six. Let's jump into this thing. This may be more of a highlights video, y'all, because I'm trying to go to sleep tonight. I am super tired. We started off back where we left, which was all the ladies that went to San Diego. This was for a little getaway. Shawnee's idea, and she just want the girls to get out, you know, possibly Jen and Evelyn work their issues out. Who knows? Maybe Malaysia and Jennifer, but not too far. She didn't want a replay of what happened when they were in Amsterdam. Jackie is already trying to claim the big room in Malaysia. I think it was either, no, it was Kristen wanted to have that big room with her friend Vanessa, you know, the mute one, the one that don't really say nothing, okay? And so Jackie wasn't here for it. She was like, mm -mm, I want the big room. I call the big room. I'm a big mama and I need this room. At this point, y'all, I'm like, Kristen, go ahead and get over it, boo-boo. You don't need a big room, not the way that you've been acting. So Shawnee runs it by Evelyn and she plans to do a dinner with all of the ladies and then Evelyn is immediately like, nope, don't want to do that, don't want to have dinner with her, nor do I want to have dinner with her friend Dominique. But I'm like, girl, you actually came to a girl's trip where you knew that Jennifer would be there oh, and she had a plus one. I don't even understand why she brought her friend. And to answer that question for all the ladies that were like, why did she bring her? She brought her because if she wouldn't have, all of y'all would have been ganging up on her. Now we're sitting by the pool, all of the ladies are there and one thing led to the other. The next thing I know, I see Evelyn getting up and she's throwing drinks over on Jennifer. I guess it's because Jennifer wouldn't tell her or wouldn't admit to saying something about Shawnee's. And so she felt some sort of way. So she got up, she's throwing drinks on her. And then Jennifer gets up, she throws drinks back at her. And then Jennifer ends up leaving and going back into the house. Then after that, all I see is uh, Dominique look like she was getting ready to walk towards her friend to, I guess, go comfort her. And then Evelyn kind of like starts getting into it with her. I can't remember what they were getting into it about. Comment down below, let me know. But I want to say it was because Evelyn is trying to figure out why are you defending a liar? You know, she said this is about my daughter and all that. You know how Evelyn is. If she don't like nobody, she's trying to understand why the hell you don't like her either. So while Jennifer is inside talking to the ladies, trying to get them to understand her side of the story and basically why Evelyn should not be pissed off at her because Evelyn did something worse than what she did talking about her daughter. And basically she's accusing Evelyn of talking about her deceased mother. Now when Jennifer said this, I was like, wait, Jennifer, she didn't talk about your mother. She said, don't use that as a reason for you to be walking around here acting like an a-hole. She didn't talk about your mother specific. Of course, somebody comes out there, deliver a message to Evelyn and say, look, she's saying that she was talking about her mother and that's why she's acting like that. Look, I never said anything about her mother. I was talking about her. My anger and everything is directed towards her. So I don't know why she would go around spreading these lies. And I think Jennifer is just still trying to justify why it was okay for her to say what she said about Evelyn's daughter. She's older now. We're getting past that. Shani asked Jennifer with all that's going on, do you want to go to the dinner with us so that way we can talk about what happened, we can kind of get on the same page, maybe you can admit to what you did wrong, if you did anything wrong, let's go ahead and be accountable for your actions. And Jennifer keeps saying, I want to make it right with her, you know, I may have said some things, but she did not at that particular time say what it is that she said, but Shawnee took it as, look, it's a step in the right direction. The last time Jennifer was supposed to admit to her wrong, she didn't. She kind Kind of like just came there and still had a little attitude and just didn't really admit to what she needed to 
admit to. And then before long, she started crying. She wanted the sympathy. You know, she wanted people to feel bad for her and what she went through with her mother. And then she told us that her mother literally found out that I guess she was diagnosed with cancer. And then three weeks later, she passed, especially because her and her mom had a really close relationship. So this is really hard for her. But y'all, I really feel like Jennifer is broken. She has gotten to this place to where it's really hard for her to deal with what happened. It was three weeks. Three weeks, but the person that you love, that you've been with, that you done rocked with, that had your back, the only person that really cared for you genuinely, and she's gone within three weeks. And not only that, you don't even know that she's gone until your daddy tells you, which I think he told her after she had already passed. Y'all, I was really about to cry with Jennifer. I was like, Jennifer, stop it. Just please stop it. Malaysia has a talk with Kristen, and basically she was telling Kristen what happened when she had that discussion with Byron, and how Byron said that I have reached out to her. She hasn't reached out to me. Y'all remember the whole story, so I'm not gonna take you back through it. But I never said that he was a bad grandfather. Kristen, you implied that he was a bad grandfather when you said he doesn't spend quality time with Kenzie. He doesn't pick Kenzie up. The only time that he's ever seen Kenzie is when y'all has brought him brought Kenzie over to, you know, spend time with him. That tells me that he's not being a good grandfather. And this is where this whole bad grandfather situation comes from. But then Kristen gets emotional and says she's going to talk to Thomas and tell Thomas what his dad said. So after speaking with Jennifer and hearing her side of how lonely she is and how she does admit that she has done some things or said some things, she didn't really take it completely there, but she was walking in, a, in the right direction. So after talking to her, they went over to talk to Evelyn to see, hey sis, are you gonna be good at the dinner? You know, are you gonna allow her a chance to speak her truth because she really wants to make it right with you. And then Evelyn's like, well, did she apologize about what she said to my daughter? And they were like, well, she's getting there. She does seem like she's open to uh, just being mature, being an adult about the situation and owning up to what she did. Okay, but, but she talked about my daughter and she's just started, you know, going back down that road. And I'm like, Evelyn, you just really wanna be mad. Allow the girl to talk, allow her some time to, you know, express what happened. We get to dinner and Shawnee is nervous, Jackie's nervous, Evelyn is a little bit nervous, but she's expecting an apology. Jennifer is sitting there looking like she just not even bothered. She's just quiet, um, you know, just soaking up, I guess, the energy. I don't know, getting herself prepared for the moment to go ahead and admit to what she did wrong. Jackie, she starts eating double dipping ill. Okay, you don't you don't do that. I'm not. I wouldn't be sharing no dips with you. Okay. They started playing a game with Jackie. I really kind of tuned out of the game. Some of the parts I did here was when Jackie asked. Uh, was it Kristen? When did she lose her virginity? Someone else asked Malaysia, will her and Jennifer ever get past their issues? Or no, asked Jennifer, will her and Malaysia ever get past their issues? And Jennifer kind of got quiet, didn't say anything. I guess she was trying to feel where Malaysia's head was and then Malaysia answered for her and said no. How far are you going to get with that? I mean, it's not even worth it at this point. I thought you trying to mend families and stuff. How about mend relationships with friends? Jennifer did and said some things and I, if I can recall correctly, she told you information but it was kind of like for you to go give the information to somebody else. But that ain't no real reason to be acting the way you acting and to like be trying to throw tables at the girl, Laquisha. So y'all really don't have no beef. Go over to Evelyn asking Jennifer, did you talk about Shanice? And Jennifer said, nope. <laughs> And so Shawnee is looking like, well, hell, this wasn't what was supposed to happen. She was supposed to admit that she said some things. Then she was going to eventually end up apologizing to Evelyn. And this is what I envisioned. Not her saying nope. 
and just shutting down and being quiet. And, and she's like, really, are you going to be for real? And she's just like, you know, she didn't take it anywhere else. So needless to say, we didn't get nowhere at the den. So in confessional, Jennifer says the reason why she didn't say anything is because she didn't want the ladies to make a spectacle out of the situation. So the next morning, the ladies are in the kitchen. I guess they're preparing breakfast. Dominique comes down. Y'all remember in the beginning of the show, her and Dominique was about to fight. So Dominique comes up, put them dukes up, and Evelyn's laughing at her. But then in, in confessional, she's like, nah, it's too early to do that, sis. Like, we still can go left, okay? So let's not play. So then the ladies go and sit by the pool. Jackie, she sits down, and there's a roach there. So she jumps up, and she runs and Kristen says she planted that there because this is kind of a little payback for you taking the big room. Jennifer goes into the house and then she stands in the kitchen, talks to Shawnee and Dominique who's still in there cooking. So Shawnee says, what happened last night, Jennifer? You know, I was completely rude for you. We were all rude for you. No, I'm playing. So she was just like, you know, I just thought that you were going to be accountable for what you did. I guess ask for forgiveness, all that good stuff. Like what happened? All that went out the window, all of that talk that we had when you were sitting there emotional on the couch and we were feeling what you were feeling. I went, gave her, uh, uh, delivered the message as though you were just, you know, on the right path and you were just going to admit to what you did wrong. And then you kind of embarrassed me because you didn't do what you said that you were going to do. And Jennifer is like, look, I wanted to be something private. Shani agreed. Then Dominique goes out and gets Evelyn. Evelyn don't know what she's coming in the house for, but she gets up, she goes in the house. And then Dominique tells her, well, Jennifer wants to talk to you. And so she's like, oh, Okay, what Evelyn goes in there. She stands a little distance from Jennifer because you never know. You might have to pick up something, throw at Shorty. She don't know what type of situation she's walking in. So Jennifer begins and she, I really feel bad for everything that happened. And if something was misinterpreted regarding Shanice, I want to say that I'm sorry to you and to Shanice. Actually, I've already sent her a message and I just want to move past this. I miss my friend. I don't want to have this friction between the two of us. I don't like to be like this. Evelyn says how upset it made her feel that her best friend would be, you know, talking crap about her daughter and especially because she looked at her like an aunt. And so Jennifer's like, I understand. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I get it. I can't take that back. But what I can do is apologize for what I said that you may or anyone may have misinterpreted. So Evelyn tells her, I haven't been this mad in a very long time. Like, and I don't want to go back to that place. And Jennifer's like, I understand you don't want to go back to that place. I don't want you to go back to that place. And I was like, girl, you will go back to that place as soon as Tammy is in the same room as you. We are done. We are past it. Jennifer tells her, I miss you. She tells Jennifer, I miss you too. And she does say that she doesn't know if it's going to ever be exactly where it was, but at least this is a start in the right direction. I was so happy. I felt like thus far this was my favorite show. And who knows, y'all, maybe Tammy and Evelyn can impress us and do the very same thing and get past it so that way we can have some good positive energy on Basketball Wives. And then we won't have to lose Tammy because she'll stay on Basketball Wives for season nine, all right? Anyway, y'all, go ahead, get into the comments. Let me know what you thought about this episode. And until next time. Yeah, low key, maybe high key. I've been peeped that you like.